Now to an emotional interview you'll only see right here on two. The first time we're hearing from the great aunt of this brother and sister, both shot dead Thanksgiving weekend in the south suburbs. CBS 2's Suzanne Lamignot. And the killer is still on the loose, Suzanne. You know, Brad, as the search continues for that individual, Clarence Hebron, Jessica Beal, and Damian Beal's loved ones are preparing for their funeral, which is going to take place on Thursday. And at the same time, they say they want to work really hard to keep this case in the public eye. I'm asking that anybody that knows anything about this knows where he is, that they would turn him in. An emotional plea from Wendy Pearson to find this man, Clarence Hebron. Hebron is wanted by the FBI as the suspect in the double murder of Pearson's great niece, Jessica Beale, and her great nephew, Damian Beale. The brother and sister were both shot in the chest at Jessica's Riverdale home the day after Thanksgiving. The FBI is offering a reward, leading to Hebron's arrest and conviction. This may save another life, um, but it's, it's not going to bring my niece and my nephew back. But if we can keep this from happening again, then that would be the joy in my heart. Records show in 2019, Hebron fled from Chicago police during a traffic stop. He crashed into a car, killing a woman. He doesn't care about anybody's life. Pearson says Hebron had recently gotten out of prison when he went to her great niece's home on November 27th. My niece was pregnant. Uh, I, I think it had something to do with the fact that she was pregnant. He had been incarcerated. Um, and I think that he didn't believe that this child was his. After Pearson's great niece and great nephew were found shot at the Riverdale home, an Amber Alert was issued for Jessica's one year old son. Hebron is the child's father. The boy was later dropped off at a police station and is now being cared for by a relative. Hebron hasn't been seen since. I don't want this to get lost. I don't want them to be just two more individuals that became statistical numbers in, the, in Chicago or in Riverdale or any place in Illinois. I want people to know that this has happened and that doesn't happen to ha has to happen again. Now the FBI says Hebron might be in Minnesota or Michigan if he's still not in Illinois. Suzanne Lemignot, CBS 2 News.